Caterpillars are the most alien-looking creatures the Earth has to offer. With stunning genetic variation, new species of caterpillars are being discovered every year. Some are fluffy, some are poisonous, others are spectacularly beautiful. Here are the top 15 strangest caterpillars ever discovered. Number 15. Curved-lined Owlet Moth Caterpillar Curved-lined owlet moths are a species that can be found across the eastern U.S. And while the adult speckled brown creatures are rather unremarkable, it's their larval forms that make them particularly interesting. Growing to around 2 to 2.5 inches long, they have developed a unique camouflage, with added appendages that make them look just like a rotting leaf. They feed on a specific type of climbing, flowering plant called Smilax, of which there are 20 species in America, and so perfectly match the coloration of the branches that they're often very difficult to spot. In recent years, due to changes to their natural habitats, population numbers of the moths and therefore their caterpillars have significantly reduced. And while they aren't yet classified as endangered, they are now uncommon to see. And if you're ever lucky enough to find one, it's best to watch it from a distance. Number 14. Flannel Moth Caterpillar Flannel moths themselves are a bizarre species that almost look more like a bee than a moth because of their furry hairs that cover their bodies. But their caterpillars are even more unusual. Also known as a puss caterpillar because of their similarities to small cats, they are covered in hair-like setae, which can be anything between grayish-white to a dark charcoal color. The fur can also be curled, which makes them appear much larger than they actually are, with the main body growing to a maximum of an inch long. They are typically found on oak, elm, and plum trees across the eastern U.S., but while they may look cute, you definitely shouldn't try to pick one of these up. They're considered to be a dangerous insect because within the hairs they have a series of venomous spines. On contact with human skin, the venom is potent enough to cause extreme pain, swelling, and potentially much more serious complications, such as headaches, chest pain, and breathing difficulties for people that are naturally allergic to them. If you need any more proof that touching something that looks like Trump's hair could be hazardous to your health, then surely this is it. Number 13. Zebra Longwing Caterpillar Zebra longwing butterflies are known for their striking black and white colorations, but this species that's native to Central and South America and occasionally slightly further north have caterpillars that don't exactly appear to be the most strokeable of animals. White with black spots, their entire bodies are covered in long, sharp black spines, which have an obvious benefit when it comes to evading predators, because a mouthful of one of these is hardly appealing. They have further methods of defense too, however, because they feed on passion flower plants, which have fine hairs along their stalks that are designed to trap herbivores and prevent them from reaching the nutritious parts. Zebra longwing caterpillars are able to release themselves from these traps by either biting themselves free or by covering their root with a layer of silk so they can walk over the hazards, and have also developed the ability to walk upside down beneath the leaves to avoid areas where these protective trichomes are most dense. It's for this reason that they have a high chance of reaching adulthood so long as there's enough food available to them and are seen as one of the hardiest caterpillars on Earth. Number 12. Saddleback Caterpillar This incredible creature is the saddleback caterpillar, which will one day turn into quite a boring light brown moth. During the larval stage, though, they take on a vibrant green and brown coloration, which makes them look as if they're carrying a saddle on their backs. Found across the eastern U.S. and Mexico, they feed on a wide range of different plants, but are most commonly found on ornamental species like manila palms, cherry trees, fig trees, and geraniums. If you find one of these in your yard eating your prized plants, you need to take a great deal of caution with removing them, because this species holds a nasty surprise. They have two fleshy horns at each end, and these are covered in orange urticating hairs, which function in the same way as the protective hairs on stinging nettles. If you touch one, they puncture the skin and inject a venom that is so potent it can lead to painful rashes, nausea, breathing and digestion difficulties, bleeding from the wound site, and in rare cases, severe anaphylactic shock. When feeling under threat, the caterpillar will curl up, so there's no choice but to touch these hairs, and they also cover cocoons with them to protect them while they're metamorphosing. Number 11. Cecropia Moth Caterpillar with a wingspan of up to 7 inches, the Cecropia moth is the largest of the moth species that are native to North America, and its caterpillar is equally as huge. Usually found crawling on maple, cherry, or birch trees, they go through five different developmental stages before transforming into their adult form. At first, they emerge completely black because they're covered in hairs all over their bodies. Then a week later, they'll shed their skin and will take an increasingly green, yellow, and bluish color. By the time these caterpillars have reached maturity, they'll be up to 5 inches long and look really unusual. 
The main green body is covered in various different appendages, some that are spiked to add protection, and others that are colored to help with camouflage. Because of their size, their mouths appear particularly ferocious, and it's amazing to see a species with such pronounced legs that you can actually see them clinging on to things. Number 10. Arsenura Caterpillar Giant silk moths, known scientifically as Arsenura, are native to regions throughout South America. But with so many threats from a wide range of predators in the area, their caterpillars have had to develop several defense techniques to give them the best chance of reaching adulthood. The first is the bright colorations, which, along with the spindly protrusions from their heads, are there to warn anything thinking of eating them that they won't taste nice and could potentially be poisonous. While they can be deadly to birds, they aren't dangerous to us, though. They're actually quite a regular source of sustenance for tribes that live in the forests. The other way they behave to increase their chances of survival is by congregating in large groups. During the day, they sleep on tree trunks in huge masses of hundreds or even thousands of individuals. And after they've fed at night, long trails of caterpillars follow the route back to their resting place, which can be quite a surprising thing to see in the jungle. Number 9. Cairns Birdwing Butterfly Caterpillar the Cairns birdwing butterfly is the largest butterfly species in Australia, with wingspans of up to 6 inches. But to consume enough nutrients to reach that size in adulthood, their caterpillars have to grow to up to 4 inches long. Normally, this would mean they're easy for predators to spot, so to counter this, they develop dark coloring to blend into the background, and live in a diet of poisonous plants that makes them, themselves, highly toxic. These vicious insects are black and brown all over, apart from the series of spines that protrude across their bodies that are orange near the tips. This is a warning to potential predators because it's there that they store the poisons that they have ingested and will cause serious pain or death to anything that makes contact with them. The butterflies and their caterpillars are only found in very specific regions of rainforest in Queensland, where they can be found in abundance, but they are particularly vulnerable to changes in their environment and specific species of plants so there are fears that their numbers could be in decline. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Henry's Harsh Moth Caterpillar Found throughout the U.S. and southern Canada, Henry's Harsh Moths are a light brown species that have a wingspan of up to one and a half inches. But their caterpillars are surprisingly colorful. Typically growing to no more than an inch long, they feed on a wide variety of grasses and trees such as poplars and willows, and are easily identified by the bristles that cover them. Their bodies are actually black in color, but this is hard to see because they have so many white and orange spines that, unsurprisingly, means they're another species that you should avoid touching. They're toxic to most birds thanks to poison within their bodies and on their bristles, and if they come into contact with human skin, they're likely to cause a painful rash and possibly an allergic reaction. Number 7. Spotted Apatolodes Caterpillar The caterpillars of the spotted Apatolodes moth, which is native to North America, are one of the cutest species you'll ever see, but it's immediately clear while they're often referred to as shaggy dog caterpillars. When they're first born, they're covered in fine white hairs, and as they age, they turn into a striking shade of neon yellow. You might think that this is a warning of their toxicity. After all, it hardly helps them to camouflage in with their surroundings, but this type of caterpillar is completely harmless except for in rare circumstances where people have an allergic reaction to their hairs. Possibly the best thing about this species, though, is their feet, which are a bright red color that's in such contrast with the rest of their bodies that it looks as if they're wearing small boots. They're known to feed on a variety of tree species, particularly acers, and the main method of defense is by deceptive mimicry. Their furry covering and colorations are similar to those of caterpillars that are highly toxic, and this means most potential predators will assume the same about them, too. This reduces the energy and effort used to produce or collect toxins and means that the caterpillars can simply focus on eating and transforming into adult moths in a much quicker time. Number 6. Monkey Slug Caterpillar Monkey slug caterpillars are the larval form of the hag moth. It's hard to believe that they're even a caterpillar at all. Looking more like a facehugger, they have six leg-like appendages that protrude from each side of their flat bodies and are completely covered in fine brown hairs. Within this hairy mound is a normal-looking caterpillar, but it's only visible from beneath, meaning the rest is essentially an elaborate hairstyle. In fact, the hairy arms can be detached without causing any harm to the creature whatsoever. Quite why they've developed in this way isn't entirely clear, but it's most likely because they look like leaves or the discarded skin of a tarantula, which is something most predators would avoid because of the risk that a hungry spider is waiting nearby. 
They can be found feeding on a wide variety of trees, including apple, ash, cherry, birch, and walnut, and are quite often seen in orchards in the U.S. Because they are solitary animals, they aren't considered to be a threat to crops, and they don't contain any toxins or stings, so don't pose a significant risk to humans. Number five, stinging rose caterpillar. The stinging rose moth can be found across the U.S., but because of their brown and green colorations, it's very difficult to spot them when they're surrounded by vegetation. Things couldn't be more different when they're caterpillars, though. Instead of relying on camouflage, these insects brazenly crawl around in search of food, fully in the knowledge that if something was foolish enough to eat them, it would almost certainly meet a grisly end itself. Usually growing to an inch or two long, they are a beautiful blend of yellows, reds, purples, and oranges, with a number of tentacle-like protrusions. If you look closely, though, you'll see where the danger comes from this species, because they're covered with very fine, urticating hairs and spines. These contain one of the most potent types of toxin found on any caterpillar species in the world, and means that stinging roses certainly live up to their name. They're virtually guaranteed to be deadly to any birds or small animals that come into contact with them. And while not deadly to humans, you'll definitely wish you hadn't touched one if you're ever unfortunate enough to do so. First, it will be an itchy and painful skin rash, and this can lead to swelling, nausea, and even headaches, vomiting, and muscle pains. The risk of becoming ill from touching one and the frequency that it happens has led doctors to referring to it as stinging rose caterpillar poisoning. Number four, paddle caterpillar. As the larval forms of the ominously named dagger moth, paddle caterpillars are becoming increasingly rare to find because their population numbers have sharply dropped in recent years due to habitat loss. They do, however, feed on a range of plants, such as oak trees, apple trees, birches, cottonwoods, and willows, where they usually dig inside thick branches in search of food. At first, you'll see a black caterpillar with yellow spots and appendages sticking out from them. But when you look closer, you'll realize where this caterpillar's name came from. The things sticking out from their body look just like paddles. In fact, they're so similar that this species is often said to resemble ancient triremes, a type of boat used by the Romans and Greeks which had oars like these on each side to propel it through the water. Due to their scarcity, very little is actually known about their life cycles, and they're one of the most sought after species by scientists who study caterpillars because they're so rarely seen. Number three, pipe vine swallowtail caterpillar. Pipe vine swallowtails are a species of butterfly that are found across North and Central America, where they can be easily identified by their black bodies and iridescent blue and orange wings. Their larvae are equally as colorful, though, and can range between bright red to brown or black with orange spots, depending on the environment that they live in. Growing to one or two inches long, the warmer their surroundings, the brighter and redder they become, and they can become a serious pest if they group in large enough numbers. They feed on pipe vine plants and will begin to eat as soon as they're born. Once they've completely finished devouring the plant they begin on, they'll move to the next one to do the same, and will continue to do so until they're ready to build a chrysalis and pupate. As is common in the animal kingdom, their bright colors aren't simply a coincidence, but act as a warning to other animals. The plants that they eat contain erysologic acids, which the caterpillars collect in their bodies, with the highest concentrations forming in their spines, and this helps protect them from birds. They do, however, face threats from other animals that aren't susceptible to this defense, such as parasitic wasps and flies, and even the larvae of other species of butterflies and moths. Number two. Imperial Fruit Sucking Moth Caterpillar If you're trekking through the lush jungle near Queensland in Australia, you'll see countless different species of butterflies and moths. And while the Imperial Fruit Sucking Moth may not stand out as one of the most beautiful, after all, it's mainly brown and has only a slight bit of coloration on its rear wings, its larval stage is one of the most frightening things you might come across. Growing up to five inches long, these caterpillars rely mainly on their majority brown coloration to blend in with the branches of trees while they're in search of food. But if a predator gets too close, they'll raise their bodies up and tuck their heads in, which stretches their skin out to reveal the markings on their face. The yellow and green spots on the side look like giant eyes, and the white markings look like a large set of teeth both which combine to fool predators into thinking the caterpillar is far bigger and more dangerous than it actually is. This usually proves to be plenty to make lizards, snakes, or birds change their minds about attacking, and allows the caterpillars to return to their hunt for food in peace. Number 1. Dalceridae Moth Caterpillar In the tropical regions around the world, it's not unusual to see brightly colored animals, but the orange, fluffy Dalceridae moth is still a surprise to anyone that finds one. 
Even more bizarre, though, are their larvae, which can be more like a slug than a caterpillar, and are covered in a strange gelatinous coating. They are exactly as gooey as they look, and there are currently 84 known species like this. The evolutionary advantage of such an unusual appearance isn't exactly certain, but scientists have reported seeing them crawling around on the surface of the leaves without any apparent fear of being hunted by birds. Their bright colors might imply that they're toxic, but no evidence of this has ever been found, so the only current theory is to do with the individual blobs of goo themselves. They can easily be removed from the caterpillar in a similar way to how a lizard's tail can detach, so it's possible that this is enough of a deterrent. If a predator grabs hold of the caterpillar, it's left with a mouthful of slime, and by the time it's got rid of it, the caterpillar has the chance to escape. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.